Hello, I'm Dr. Elizabeth Plourd, and I've been a medical researcher for 30 years, and I've written several books. My latest book is about electromagnetic radiation, EMF freedom, solutions for the 21st century pollution, and in it I describe how these radiations are leading to autism and Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, autoimmune diseases, allergies, obesity, and cancer. Absolutely, there's just no doubt about the cancer connection. We have pictures in this book and the articles in this book. I have 155 studies in here proving all that they cause these things. The DNA is disrupted. Even though it's non-ionizing radiation, it absolutely vibrates the DNA to the point that it breaks instead of breaking it immediately. Uh, so um, the cancer cells, if you put breast cancer cell line in a lab and turn on a cell phone, those cells start dividing. So we're seeing a huge increase in cancers because of these radiations and they're just so omnipresent. They're everywhere. Everybody's carrying cell phones. There's no doubt the literature absolutely does prove uh, brain tumors. Uh, there's more tumors on the side of the head where people are carrying their cell phone. And um, so we really are electrical beings and our electrical, um, our whole electrical body is being changed. We're getting holes in all our cell membranes. We're getting holes in our blood brain barrier, our whole gut lining. So we're getting food allergies because food products particles are leaking out into our blood. Um, so what happened for me was that I, I uh, became very electromagnetic sensitive. It's cumulative and I've been on a computer ever since they were invented doing my research. And finally I became so sensitive even though I was using a whole bunch of things on the market, on my cell phone, on my computer, on myself, I became so sensitive I couldn't even use a cell phone anymore, couldn't even use a computer anymore. Couldn't go out in public, I would feel everybody's cell phones coming into me like knives. Couldn't go in a Wi-Fi building, I'd feel like I was on board a ship. And dizziness, vertigo, nausea. And so a year and a half ago, we found this technology that I'm wearing. It's called a BioDot, made by Phi Harmonics in England, and we're importing them from England. They worked so well for me. In two days, I was better. I was only halfway through writing this book when I couldn't use a computer anymore and tried to figure out how to get back to the world of the living. In a week and a half, I was back finishing this book. And in th three weeks, I was at a huge health conference, 1,500 people in the same room, all with cell phones, in a Wi-Fi hotel for four days. And I was able to just uh, be there with no symptoms. So we started selling these products. We have them in uh, four you to wear, the bio dot to wear, electro dot for the cell phones. So they just go right on the cell phone. Wi-Fi dot for the Wi-Fi router, as well as for the smart meters. They work very well on the smart meters that they're now measuring your electricity and gas with in, on homes. And then we have different ways of, of putting them together. And we have wristbands that you can wear. So we have quite a variety of ways of wearing this. We have it on a necklace, uh, like the necklace I'm wearing. And uh, then this is the little, the little bio tag that the bio dots on the back of it. And we think it's very important that people finally start in recognizing they need to protect themselves. This makes your bio field stronger. This is why I no longer feel people's cell phones coming into me like knives my biofield is actually stronger. And then uh, it actually alters the energy coming off of the cell phone so that it's more helpful. Whoops, that didn't. So, um, can I yeah, get up? Yeah. yeah, okay. You know what would it be better? Oh gosh, okay. So it'd probably be better to to show, show this again? Sure. Oops. Okay. So does this help? So here's the wristband that you wear. The bio dot that's on this pendant is in the is in that little circle there. And you just wear this. This is surgical grade silicone. And this comes in white 
or this gray black color. And uh, then I wanted to show you the red blood cells, the difference in using, so can you catch that? So our red blood cells, since we're electrical, it changes their electrical charge when we're exposed to these radiations. So the, the blood cells on the top is a finger stick of somebody coming in off the street. The, in the middle is somebody on the cell phone for an hour. And so you can see they're all stuck together. This is the headaches because there's not enough oxygen to the tissues. This is also cancer when, you're, when you are depriving your tissues of oxygen to this degree. And then this is somebody on the cell phone uh, with the, the electrodot that we're now representing on their cell phone. Same person, same cell phone. Big difference in how much oxygen our blood cells can carry by putting this on your cell phone. And it also goes on computers, iPads. So, um, what else there? <laughs> so, well, what, what made you get interested in doing this? Um, I got interested because I became so sick. I'm the canary in the coal mine, and I do have a history of mercury poisoning, and those people who are toxic are more susceptible to the radiation. Half of, I do consulting around the country. Half of my consults have a history of mercury poisoning also. So we're the ones that are showing the sensitivity, the symptoms from all the radiations prior to other people who are not quite as toxic. And my not being able to even function for four months, I literally hid in my backyard because it was too painful to go out because I would feel everybody's cell phones like knives. And also because I'm a menopause practitioner, and I got interested in the subject when women were calling me from around the country saying I must be going into early menopause, I have these headaches, I can't sleep, I'm irritable, I'm fatigued. And when I looked at their profile, it wasn't hormones, and found the common denominator was when the smart meters were being put on their homes, those symptoms started within a matter of weeks or months. And I have the biochemical explanation for those symptoms in the book. The headaches are that lack of oxygen that I was just showing you. The insomnia is because the radiations kill, destroy the melatonin in the brain, so we don't have melatonin to go to sleep and stay in a deep sleep that we need to repair, repair the damage that's going on uh, all day long as we're being bombarded. I liken it to all these radiations well, like we're being machine gunned and, and putting holes throughout our whole, our whole body. And so I just did a radio show on fibromyalgia and had no idea that um, electromagnetic radiation has a big part to play in that. It has a big part to play in so many things uh, because when you're impacting every cell, every cell is getting holes in it. And so in our blood-brain barrier is getting holes in it. Our gut lining is getting holes in it. I mean, so when we're getting all those holes in our cells and then allowing the toxins to come into the cells, so it's like, hey, come on in, <laughs> destroy me. I mean, literally, it's it, so many symptoms. If you want to shoot on this symptom list, uh, these are what we're finding, people are finding us for, is all these symptoms. And they're getting to the point where they can't even function. They can't uh, work anymore because they can't be around computers and cell phones. They can't go into their smart meter's house because they get immediate headache because the smart meters are putting out these radiations. The smart meters are literally the same frequency as the microwave oven, pulsing multiple times a minute, 24 hours a day. The body's designed to repair, and the DNA breaks will repair, but when it's 24 hours a day, there's no ability for the body to do the repair it needs to do. So um, it's just amazing because this is what my practice has shifted to, from being a menopause consultant to really people with radiation sickness. That's significant. It is. It really is, yeah. And by the time they find us, they haven't been able to work in months or years. You know, even three, four, five years, they haven't been able to work. So. How does this relate to cancer? The cancer, the, the radiations are breaking DNA. They actually, they vibrate the DNA to the point of breaking. So they're disrupting the DNA and its replication. So that alone is, uh, is helping it. Plus, what I showed about the lack of oxygen to the tissues, 
the lack of oxygen to the tissues that is creating in our red blood cells, plus it spikes blood sugar. So just lab animals exposed to a cell phone, their blood sugar goes up. So, so we have two, two uh, ways of the blood sugar and lack of oxygen can, that can help lead to cancer. I see. And you've written more than one book, right? Yes, I have. Um, my last book before the EMF was uh, Sunscreens, Biohazard, Treat as Hazardous Waste. Uh, the sunscreens are very hormonally active. Uh, very disruptive to fetal programming, so it's disrupting our children development. The sunscreens kill our coral. They're killing the coral, they kill the phytoplankton, so we're destroying the marine life, as well as disrupting the hormonal development of our children. Plus, the titanium dioxide and zinc oxides are so small. If they're a white paste, you know, that's what was considered safe. That's what the FDA approved them for. But when they bring them down to nano size or micronized size, we have the proof that even the new micronized that they say is safe is not safe. It goes into the bone marrow, disrupts blood cell division and, and maturation. Goes into the colon, creates increased cell division in the colon and in the esophagus. And actually they go in and, and kill testicle cells. So. Uh, we're really disrupting ourselves when the answer, I have a whole chapter in here of all the antioxidants that can, um, can protect the skin against the solar radiation. So an antioxidants are the answer to the solar radiation, they're the answer to the EMF radiation. If we eat that, if we include that in our diet, we can help offset the damage that's happening uh, from both of these radiations. It's all it's all radiation. So I was very smart then to get acupuncture for my cancer treatment and also to use poly-MBA because poly-MBA alters the electrical charge on the cancer cell that allows your body to destroy it. Absolutely. That sounds great. That That's really does. you can integrate into your... Okay. And, and yeah. All right. Yeah. That. Yeah. Thank very you. Important. Appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Very much so. And my, my first book that I wrote... This is the first book that I wrote about how important it is for women to have hormones. That uh, we shouldn't be removing the uterus, we shouldn't be removing the ovaries. 90% um, of them could be left in place with alternatives that leave them. They're very important organs. This book describes why it's important to leave them all in place, as well as to replace the hormones with bioidentical hormones through the skin. All the studies were done on, on hormones that were not human and oral, and both of those are a combination for them not to give the benefit that our natural ovarian hormones give for us. So I believe it's important for all women to make sure that their hormones are uh, sufficient in order to protect the brain, the eyes, the bones, the muscles, uh, how we digest food. All three of our ovarian hormones are involved in how we even metabolize blood glucose. It's just really amazing. They're, I became to be in awe of them as basic building blocks throughout the whole body. Outstanding. So. Now you've got some sheets over here, right? Is that what, what grounding, grounding kits? Yes, yes. Uh, these grounding sheets, uh, what's happening with the radiation, we're away from the grounding so we're being impacted by all the radiation. And what we need to do is if we will ground and bring in the Earth's electrons, it helps repair the damage that we're being subjected to uh, with the radiation just that we're swimming in. And so this particular sheet, it's cotton, silver threads running through it. These silver threads conduct the Earth's electrons to the body. And to me, I liken it to drinking an antioxidant juice all night as you're sleeping on it. So it makes a big difference. I feel much better sleeping on it. What we have started representing is what got me well and got me back to the land of living. By sleeping on this, by wearing this, I can exist in this incredibly toxic electronic environment. Wow, so we've really got to pay attention yes. to the electromagnetic field around us and being an ex-Navy sailor, Oh, that's right. I, I specialize in electronic warfare, so I know wow. that every ship has an electronic signature. 
And so people have electronic signatures. That makes sense. Yes. Equipment it has, right. has electronic signatures. Right. So you're saying that these particular uh, diseases are manifested partially because we're not managing our electromagnetic spectrum properly. That's right. That's correct. Absolutely. Right. And it's causing a lot of harm. It really is. Okay. Well, anything else you want to say? Okay. No, thank you very much. Because I, my, being a medical researcher for 30 years, I want the whole world to know what I've uncovered. And so it's a pleasure to be able to share and get more people aware to start in realizing these cell phones are not not something to be toys for kids. They really are impacting their brain because they impact the cell. They destroy brain cells. They destroy the cells related to memory, so our kids are showing loss of memory. They destroy cells related to fine motor coordination and balance, so our kids can't build blocks as well as they used to. So our kids are being impacted, and we should not have Wi-Fi in the schools. They should not be given iPads to do all their work on, and it's just really important. And they shouldn't be giving them as toys to play with. I see them in restaurants and putting them in front of them at the meals, and it, they're, the young brain, the young skull, it's thinner, has more fluid, more radiation damage. They're rapidly dividing DNA cells because the brain doesn't finish maturing until the mid-20s, actually. And so those rapidly dividing cells are much more susceptible to the damage from the radiation. So really important to be aware that these are not noxious. They're, they're noxious toys, and they really should be kept away and uh, go back to books and blocks and <laughs> go back to things that are safe for us. So now, thank about you. Prices. you know, the, the, the sheets you have there, how much do they cost? Uh, the, the, this is a half sheet. And so it can go on any size bed. This sheet is $139.99. Uh, the, the king size sheets are more, they're, I think they're 209 and 219 The dots that we sell, the dot itself uh, is $44.95. The combo package that includes both the cell phone and one for you to wear is $54.95. This necklace that I'm wearing is a very fine piece of jewelry. It's sterling silver and mother of pearl. And so this is $259.95. And then we also have another one that's um, a new one that is that is a silver chain with mother of pearl. And that's $129.95. So, and how can people order this? Uh, EMFFreedom.com. So, yeah, I don't know if you want to get that. Can you see that? Or so, emffreedom.com and all of these are on that website, as well as videos that help describe uh, what they're doing, how they work. Okay, outstanding. Thank you very much. Thank you. I so appreciate.